In 2005, a man went on a journey to trade a paperclip for a house. And I think in about 12 trades, he actually got the house. Now, the caveat is the house is in Canada, so who cares? But the question is, can I trade this penny for a motorcycle? Sean, that, that's not a penny. That, that's a piece of rock salt. First, I gotta trade this rock salt for a penny. Let's go. Hello. Hi. I'm trying to trade for a motorcycle. Would you trade this piece of rock salt for anything? Um, probably not. But a penny. A penny? I would trade it for a penny. Would you trade it for a penny? I would give you a penny. And would you take this rock salt? Sure. That's a trade. But you got it for free. I see what you're doing. Hmm. Ah, right off the sidewalk. <laughs> I got a penny. There you go. <laughs> Almost there. Thank you. You're welcome. So easy. It looks like this trading thing is gonna be easier than I thought. My next strategy is to ask random strangers that I see walking by. All right, now we've got to trade this penny for. Question for you. Yeah. I'm trying to trade this penny up for a motorcycle. Do you have anything that you would trade this penny for? No. No, nothing, not even a, a pen? No. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Let's go find some more people. Regular pen I would do, but I don't have one. Dang, all right. You don't have anything in your car? I got a lot of stuff in my car. This is the moment that I realized that this dude was a baller. What type of irregular pens does this guy have inside of his car? I mean, we talking like the pens with four different colors inside, or we talking like astronaut space pens, we talking about laser pens, we talking about like epi pens. I mean, what does this guy have? Would you be willing to trade it for a penny? Probably not. Mm, okay. Go see if you can get like a cupcake or something. Great idea, right. great idea. My name is Sean. Okay. And I'm trying to trade this penny up to a motorcycle. Do you have anything you'd be willing to trade for this penny? I mean, we can trade to cupcakes. <laughs> really? That'd be awesome. Will that help you get a motorcycle? Yeah, we'll trade the cupcakes yeah, for something else. At least one. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Okay. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, there you <laughs> Thank you. This is going pretty well. Also, it's, a, it's, it's not open. It's in a, it's in a container, so I can, uh, people are gonna be like, we were touching it and stuff. Look, I got a cupcake. Would you like to trade this cupcake? No, yeah, I'm good. All right, and why doesn't he have any normal pens? Hey, you know what we can trade that cupcake for? A cupcake, please. So I had to go back to the cupcake place, and this time they were not as amused with my trade, but they did it anyway. Anything you want to trade a cupcake for? That would get me closer to a motorcycle. How about you take an Empower Fat Loss Cookbook? Empower Fat Loss Cook Cookbook. more cupcakes with that. That's right. Well, actually, there's no cupcake. There's no cupcake. Never here, mind. But... Yeah, I'll do it. We sell them for 15. There it's, you go. This is a $15 value right here. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. This is value right here. We are moving up. It's gonna be real offensive to everyone when I'm like, let me trade you this fat loss cookbook. See, this is still that first stage, though. This is like the, uh... Then I took the cookbook and went to visit the local BMW dealership where I traded the cookbook for... Europlate. Hey, like them apples. That's a real Europlate right there. I'll hand you this. And I will take this. Thank you so much. Amazing. Now he has a license plate. All right. <laughs> then I contacted my friend Mikey, who always has cool stuff, is always up for a good trade. What's going on, bro? What's happening? We went from a piece of rock salt <laughs> to a penny, from a penny to a cupcake, from a cupcake to a cookbook, from a cookbook to a Euro tag, from a Euro tag to this $45 box of chocolates. $45 box of chocolates. It's the world's greatest chocolate Okay. Ever. Do you have anything that you would be willing to trade for this amazing box of chocolates? I actually might. All right. Yeah. Give me one second. Um, one I have, I can trade you because I don't need it anymore. And the other you could just have if you get it out of my backyard. Okay. But this comes with everything. Projector for my home entertainment system. Yeah. It works great. I'm in, I'll do it. All right, have fun. How do we get it out of here? Just Move this stuff. Just push it right out. Push it right out. 
Yeah. Do you have ramps? You think we you think we be able to, can we pick it up and get it in the back of my truck? I have ramps. I have we can pick it up. <sighs> Crap the tire, I guess. Okay. One, yep. two, three. <sighs> So we loaded up the quad and the projector and went back to the shop to regroup. All right, so now we got two items. We got the ATV and we have the Epson projector. This is a great spot to split up. I'll give Craig uh, the ATV. He'll start working on that, get that thing running and everything. And then he'll start trading that and I'll trade the Epson. And then maybe at some point we'll both have two cool items. We'll trade them both for the motorcycle. Whoa! Whoa, that escalated quickly. Yo, what's up, Craig? Double trade. Wow. This thing worked like last year. Oh, and I got a projector. You're gonna work on trading this for stuff. I work on trading the projector. We'll double back around. Okay. Did he give us a key? It's not in there? Yeah, he has a key, I think. It's not in there. It works. Let's go see if we can trade it for him. I would value this at around at least 200 bucks. Epson projector. It works, it works awesome. It'll get you tons of chicks. Tons of chicks, you say? Yeah. Let me send you pictures of this projector. So I started calling everybody I could think of to try to trade this projector. Think of how much money you can make with that extra space inside that garage. And then, and then, and then on top of it, all the, all the time you spend in your garage, imagine watching movies on the wall. While this was happening, Craig was able to sell the Chinese ATV for 400 bucks. Sometimes when you're trading, you need to cash out. This makes you a buyer again, and then you can buy some really good deals for people who don't wanna trade the item that you have. And I was having a hard time trading this cool projector in Pennsylvania. So I did the only rational thing that someone in my situation would do. I hopped on an airplane, flew to Utah, intercepted a pizza delivery boy, and interrupted a live stream for Matt's Off-Road Recovery. And then we traded a projector for something that Matt gave me. Two of these Matt's recovery rope kits. And Sean brought us some pizza. I didn't pay for it though. I just, I just intercepted the pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, so now I gotta trade these Matt's off-road recovery straps valued at around 350 bucks a piece. And I got two of them. Here's my strategy. One, I'm gonna take some pictures of these, put them on Facebook Marketplace, see if I can find a trade or even possibly sell them and cash out and then buy something else that I can trade. Two, tougher part, this is where a salesmanship comes in. Who's gonna think that they might need something like this? A Jeep guy. We're just gonna go drive around, roll down our window, find some Jeep people and see if they wanna trade or sell them. But I was thinking it might work out better if I were also driving a Jeep. My head is so cold. This is why I don't drive my Jeep very much in the winter time. My strategy is simple. Jeeps use gas, which means they need gas. And where do they go for gas? Well, obviously, the local Sheets. Basically, I'm gonna be harassing people at Sheets. Now we wait, Dan, for our next uh, customer. But if you don't have any use for one, that's all right. I don't have any use for one at the moment, no. That's all right. So, yeah. Hey man, I'm going. Hey Dan, this guy's a farmer. Let me ask this guy. Looks like this Jeep got stuck a lot. Oh. <laughs> what happened? He said he was going to the airport. Wow. Hey, excuse me, I'm trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty program. Wow, that's not my fault. Hey, if I gave you money, would you buy me smokes? Um, are you not old enough? Uh, I'm, 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 um, actually what I really want to talk to you about was your vehicle's extended warranty program. Let's get back on the road, we'll find somebody. Hey, I'm working on a project, trading it, going from a penny up to a motorcycle, trading up. Yeah. Um, we currently have two off-road recovery ropes. Matt's off-road recovery. It's actually funny you said that. I always get so I use them to pull vehicles in with my yeah. loader. Yeah. And I usually have two and one ripped. And I said to my wife, I was like, oh, I had to buy another off-road recovery. It's funny. Are you serious? It's, it's, <laughs> no joke. It's no joke. You want to check them out? Like I got them right. Week I, ago. Comes with the bag. Comes with the strap, comes with the soft shackle. And after an entire day of funny looks and rejection, I sold one to the diesel shop owner at Diesel Works, the guy that works on my van. Let me ask you, give me a minute. Cool, yeah. Uh, we got it. 
I'll help you out. It's for a good cause. <laughs> but to be honest, it really wasn't for a good cause. It was just for me to get another motorcycle, which I already have plenty. That's so crazy. You were looking for a recovery rope. Yeah, you know it. Came to the right place. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So you got your rope. And then you got your soft shackle. And then of course you got your sticker and then you got the bag right. to keep it in. Don't let me pressure you into it. No, I don't. You don't need it, that's all right. I understand. Yeah. I'm gonna go to this towing and recovery place. It just makes sense to me, but I don't think they're gonna buy it, but gotta try something, I'm getting desperate. Possibly the best thing that anyone's ever said about me was that I'm too stupid to give up. And I'm not gonna start now. A recovery rope that I wanted to see if they wanted to buy. What kind of recovery rope? Uh, Off-road recovery rope. Okay. Like a kinetic one. I know it's a very strange request. <laughs> okay, if you wanna step over here, we'll help you in a second. Yeah, no problem. It's a no-go, gotta right, keep on moving. All right, so I know someone who actually really needs this. Let's go find them and let's sell it to them. Come on, Craig. This is Salesmanship 101. What up, Jason? I got something, I got something you need. Remember that time we went uh, off-roading? Oh, and you, no were, you, were, you were getting stuck all the time? Oh, no way. Oh, this is sweet. I got this from Matt, Matt himself. I'll give you a killer deal. How much? 350 bucks. Wow, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this would be perfect. I will put this in my truck. There's 350 bucks. All right. Appreciate it. Two years ago, buying a cheap bike at the auction would have been really, really easy. We bought $200 bikes, we bought $400 bikes, $600 bikes. Today, it's almost impossible. The, the, the crappiest looking motorcycle was doing $1,800. And every time we started getting in the bid, it started going up higher. But this bike came up and we got it for $1,100. Let me show it to you guys. Come on, Craig. This... It's a Honda Shadow 750. Yeah, it's actually an American. It's actually 1100. It's 1100. It's an American classic Honda Shadow. Here's the problem. We didn't. We were looking at the price tag. We didn't look at the CR, which is a condition report, and it's got an extremely low condition report and we've never we can't get it to run so we never heard it run we didn't wrap up the video this is not the end of a penny to a motorcycle i'm going much bigger than this i want to trade a penny and go the whole way up to not just any motorcycle an indian ftr 1200 s that's the motorcycle i want to trade for this is a stepping stone hopefully this will get us closer to there we'll see you guys next time